the 28th of July, 2015, my uncle died. And this was a death that was preceded by six weeks of his being unable to access healthcare. Healthcare can be thought of as a luxury good because the hard reality of where we are now is that it's only the haves that can afford it. We are always faced with options. Choosing to do nothing is an option. But if you do nothing today, you can't complain that nothing is changing tomorrow. I felt like I needed to do something. I need to back up my, my talk with action. I'm a medical practitioner, so I've been acutely aware of the challenges of the healthcare sector. When someone falls ill, they've got one of three options. The first option is to access the public healthcare sector. Due to the inconvenience of having to be there no later than 6 a.m. and only getting serviced hours later, what this means for somebody who's employed is that they risk their day's wages and they potentially also risk losing their jobs. Basically forces people to compromise the employment for their health or alternatively to compromise their health for their employment. The second option is to access the private healthcare sector. This is rather expensive, it's intimidating, and it's unwelcoming for people who are not on medical insurance. People just don't have that money to pay up front, and therefore it doesn't work. And then there's a third option. It doesn't seem like an option, but it is because a lot of people go for that option to not seek healthcare and hope for the best. And that leads to complications and unfortunately, premature death. At the time of my uncle's passing, I was already thinking of a quality health-like concept. What my uncle's death did was it made me realize just how urgent the issue is. I felt at the time that I didn't have the luxury of just sitting on the idea and not doing anything about it. People are dying. I didn't have the luxury to deliberate on the issue. I didn't have the luxury to overanalyze the issue. I didn't have the luxury to, to wait until things were perfect before I started. And so the decision was, let's just start with a basic service and we can build on it. And that's been the best decision that I've ever made. A year after my uncle passed away, on the 1st of May 2016, I launched Quali Health with the intention of ensuring that I could prevent at least one other person from experiencing what my uncle experienced. Poly Health is a provider of primary health care services. We needed to express that we respect people's time. Just because you don't have as much money as people think you should have does not mean that you've got time to waste, and in fact, you've got less time. So Quali Health is two years old. We have just entered our third year. We have three facilities. We service well over 500 patients a day. We are looking to open as many locations as possible and to have the service available to as many people as possible. I want to make healthcare accessible and therefore not a luxury good. I don't think we would have continued without faith. Faith hasn't been one of many elements. Faith has been the core of our existence. This thing is really about purpose and passion. It's something that makes you restless. It's something that makes you get up, even when everything says, stay down. It's something that becomes that glimmer of hope and a light in the face of darkness. For me, it came in the form of poly health. I would see the injustice of the healthcare sector, and I would try to ignore it, and I would try to move on, but it wouldn't let me go.